Hello, I'm Siobhan Piddock, a Pediatric Endocrinologist at Mayo Clinic Children's Centre and today I'd like to talk about thyroid cancer in children. Cancer is a scary word, it's a scary word for everybody, um, but thyroid cancer um, doesn't need to be as scary as other cancers if treated appropriately. Thyroid cancer is typically looked after by endocrinologists and surgeons rather than by the usual cancer doctors and the treatment for thyroid cancer is really quite different from other uh, treatments of cancers. How do you know or how would you suspect thyroid cancer? The thyroid gland sits here in the neck, it's a gland that produces thyroid hormone and the majority of thyroid cancers present with a lump either within the thyroid gland itself or in one of the lymph nodes in the neck. So it's essentially a lump in the neck um, is how most thyroid cancers present. Lumps in the neck are common in children. They occur because of you know, ear infections or sore throats and many, many, many lumps in the neck are entirely normal and they're not in the least concerning. However, if lumps in the neck are very persistent, if they're large, um, if they are associated with a change in the voice, if, they're, if they are, um, go on for a very long time, they really should be evaluated by your primary care provider who can then decide if your, if your child's lump in the neck is something that's more worrisome than the usual type of uh, lymphadenopathy. Um, if, uh, if we're concerned about thyroid cancer, the best test to start um, figuring out if this is something we should be concerned about is an ultrasound of the neck. It should be done by someone who's a lot of experience. Um, cancers in the neck look different from uh, regular lymph nodes. Um, lumps within the thyroid gland themselves, we call those nodules, are very, very common in adults. Many, many adults have what we call benign or harmless nodules in the thyroid gland by the time they're 50 or 60 years of age. Nodules in children are not quite so common, so when we see a nodule in the thyroid gland, we have a low uh, threshold for testing that further, and uh, the next step, if we see a nodule in the thyroid gland, or if we see a lymph node on ultrasound that looks suspicious, is to do what we call a fine needle biopsy, which basically consists of a needle, just the size of a needle that we would take blood from, that size needle passed into the um, area, the concerning area, either in the thyroid gland or in the lymph node, and drawing out some cells, putting them on a slide, and seeing if there's anything concerning looking about them. Teenagers often do this without any anesthetic. Younger children sometimes need a little bit of anesthetic. Um, if thyroid cancer is diagnosed, the treatment is essentially surgical to remove the thyroid gland. It's very important to work with a surgeon who is very competent in removing thyroid glands. There are a lot of very important structures in the neck which can be damaged um, if, uh, if you, an inexperienced surgeon takes out the thyroid gland. And then sometimes after the surgery some additional therapy is needed like radioactive iodine. And therapy, it's not necessary for every patient, but it's necessary for some patients who have more extensive disease. And the mainstay then of treatment is thyroid hormone replacement. So the same thyroid hormone replacement that an adult or a child who has an underactive thyroid has, it's not chemotherapy, it's just a hormone. Um, we place patients on that for life, um, and then follow-up um, is accomplished by checking blood tests, by your endocrinologist having regular physical exams, feeling the neck, and also regular ultrasound exams of the neck. There are some newer modalities of treatment uh, that we rarely have to resort to, things like ethanol ablation, um, and those are also available at specialized centers. So thyroid cancer is a cancer. It does not need to be as scary as other types of cancers, um, but it is important that if uh, thyroid cancer is diagnosed or if there's concern for thyroid cancer that appropriate testing happens so the treatment can occur as early in the course as possible.